Nautilus is the latest added sentinel in the game. And you can farm his parts and the blueprint from the missions on the Neptune Proxima. Any mission can have it. It's an extra objective on a mission. Instead of a usually yellow marker, it's gonna be a white one. You just gotta get in there, steal the data, and complete the mission. Upon completing the mission, the item that you got there will be unveiled and you get an item. Usually it's endo and mods or even relics, but you have a chance to get the Nautilus parts. The mission I've chose to run and farm this Sentinel is the Nugua Mines, which is an exterminate. I think the other viable options to make it faster or to make it as much run as you can are probably Enkidu Ice Drifts and Sovereign Grasp, which are, are volatile missions. I was able to complete Nugua Mines within 4 to 5 minutes and the volatile missions between 4 and 6 minutes usually. The best run I've got here was around five minute, uh, 4 minutes and a few seconds and on Nugua Mines around 4 minutes and 10 seconds. And the Warframe I chose for this was Scales. With this build, he's able to deal quite okay with the enemies on that level. Uh, for the Exterminate, I'm going to be using Mac Rush to go as fast as I can through the mission. And Thermal Sunder with the Heat to kill enemies. Dependents are optional, I'm just using Helios because I'm leveling the Volklock. Guns and stuff is also optional. My focus tree is Xenuric for the energy. If you want to bring something for the energy, it's going to be good. This is my real jack. I think everything here is maxed. Move on shields, move on engines for maximum boost speed. Water plating, the reactor for damage and range. Weapons, I got fodder for, for the front turrets and pulsar for the, uh, the side turrets and Psycho Seeker. As far as mod goes, Onslaught Matrix for some turret damage and the rest is pretty optional. Worms Torrent is not the best thing here. Uh, if you were, if you want to go with damage, just use Granum's Nemesis for the damage against Corpus. For Bell, I'm using Black Up Pulse for stopping the uh, crew ships. Shatter Bursts for dealing good amount of damage and demolishing the nodes from the, the security node from the ships and seeker volley if i ever have to destroy a lot of targets but usually my crew just destroys everything for tactical the really important thing here is flow burn which is going to give you a speed boost it's going to take you quite fast to the objectives and you're going to be using pretty much once per mission, yeah. yeah. Rest is optional. Intrinsics, nothing much fancy. Still got a lot to farm. Yeah, these are the levels. Now for the crew, I've got two gunners and an engineer. Pretty good. They're pretty good. They they can do the job. Nothing really fancy. Now something that I have to recommend is to actually change your air support. So go into equipment, orbiter, landing craft the air support you're gonna be changing to override as sometimes enemies will lock the doors and just pressing a button to have it unlocked is gonna be the best way to just keep rushing through the mission. So here's the footage of my best time on this mission that I've got so far.
And about two or three runs after I recorded my best run, I actually finally got my blueprint. And yeah, I was really happy and I already put my Nautilus to craft. And hopefully I'll be able to make a video about the new Sentinel soon. So yeah, that was the video. I hope this little guide was helpful to you. And if it was or you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. And for more Warframe content, subscribe to the channel. Also, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.